Yeah, so um, my name's Jacob Gagai. I've played majority of the game fullback this season. Can pretty much play nearly anywhere in the back line, but yeah, preferred fullback and yes, anywhere, anywhere in the outside backs really. Uh, so I, I work for Quantar Foundation, so, uh, exact same with uh, Cody Hodge, one of the boys that I play footy with here. Um, he's at Endeavour and I'm at Matraville Sports High School. So I've been there for well, pretty much since I got here in Sydney, um, which has been good. It's, it's, it, it's a good balance because I'm working with the young Indigenous boys and trying to help them through school and sort of doing sport through there. Obviously the boys love footy and that and getting a good relationship with them and the whole idea of it is to just make school attractive for them boys because obviously young Indigenous boys before Clontarf was there, was, we look at a percentage rate of like 80% to get the boys uh, each term over 80% and I think before there was a plant up there, the percentage rate for Indigenous boys was like below 50 or something. So it's a, it's a good program, it's good to keep yourself busy and it's good going into work and doing something that I love too because I get to work with them boys and see them succeed and help them succeed and build good relationships with them. And uh, Before the Rabbitohs I was in Newcastle, uh, living in Newcastle. I was there for, so I uh, started under, 20, under 20s there, uh, actually SG Ball. Um, living there with my brother, um, my parents, my family moved there, mum and dad, they ended up making the move from Mackay. Yeah, he, he, he played a lot of Q Cup, yeah, it's actually, he's went down in history, he played, I think he scored the first try in the Q Cup competition. And yeah, so he's, he's played a big part of um, Dane and myself's life and footy and he's the reason why we started playing footy because obviously he was, he was a gun at it and then uh, I think just um, injuries and stuff cut him short. And obviously he's been a long time coming and with COVID and that hitting and there was times there where I thought it was just all just going to go fall apart and I'll probably end up moving back home, but I've stuck at it and, you know, it's still there, the fire's still there, definitely well and truly there, um, and it'll mean so much to me and my family and just knowing that I've t taken the road that I've taken. Heard a lot about the club and obviously it's a historic club and a great club and something that I wanted to be part of mainly and um, which, which made my decision to move to the South and trying to put my best foot forward, obviously, um, hopes and dreams and that are there, still there for, to play NRL and it's uh, been a dream of mine since I was you know, at a very young age and been loving it every, every minute of it here at South. So.